Last week, Indian announced a new limited edition of the Challenger Dark Horse, which is the result of a collaboration with Jack Daniels, the famous Tennessee whiskey distiller from Lynchburg, Tennessee. What I find most exciting is a new feature on this Challenger, and the idea that that feature could be included on other future models of touring motorcycles across the board. In case you didn't know this, this is the sixth year of Jack Daniels inspired Indian motorcycles. Before I tell you what I find to be the most exciting new feature on the new Jack Daniels Challenger, let's take a quick look at the Jack Daniels Indian motorcycles from years past because I want to know if the new Challenger is your favorite one or like me, do you really fancy one of the other beautiful models they've made in the previous years? By the way, in case you didn't know, this collaboration partnered with Clockworks Custom Cycles to come up with the design of the new Challenger and the previous models. This collaboration between Indian Motorcycles and Jack Daniels started in 2016, which was also the year of Jack Daniels' 150th anniversary, and it began with a limited edition Chief Vintage and Indian Springfield. On top of getting things like heated seats and custom paint, each bike came with its own authentic Jack Daniels barrel top, custom inscribed with the owner's name, bike model, bike number, and VIN. In 2017, they came out with an Indian Chieftain with a beautiful one-of-a-kind white and black crystal paint job with Jack Daniels inspired charcoal colored accents. The bike had old number seven billet driver and passenger floorboards, a leather tank pouch which was embossed with Jack Daniels old number seven and other premium limited edition markings. Now the Chieftain is the closest bike in the Indian lineup to my street glide so that along with the fact that most of my life old number seven was my go-to whiskey it makes me particularly attracted to this bike. This limited edition Chieftain was delivered with a commemorative American flag that is handmade from the Jack Daniels barrel wood and includes a customized plaque with the owner's name, motorcycle number, and VIN. And that definitely appeals to my patriotic nature as well. 2018 was another awesome looking bike that is one of my favorites by Indian, the Scout Bobber. This limited edition bike is a tribute to the members of the Jack Daniels Fire Brigade and first responders everywhere. Designing it after the fire brigade's world-class fire trucks, only 177 of these bikes were built. These bobbers featured the Jack Daniels Old Number no. 7 brand emblem, as well as the Jack Daniels Fire Brigade emblem on the tank. The motorcycle came with an authentic fireman's axe with a wooden handle that's custom engraved with the owner's name, motorcycle number, and unique VIN. This is definitely another favorite for me. Two years ago, the 2019 Jack Daniels Limited Edition Indian Springfield Dark Horse was announced. It draws its design inspirations from Jack Daniels Single Barrel Select. Among other features, it touted an exquisite two-tone heavy metal crystal and thunder black vivid crystal paint scheme with steel gray graphics and a single barrel select wood grain finish. This limited edition came with a commemorative wooden Jack Daniels single barrel bottle decanter holder made out of the same oak barrels used to age the Jack Daniels single barrel select. Last year, the 2021 Jack Daniels limited edition Indian Roadmaster Dark Horse was inspired by Gentleman Jack. This Roadmaster was delivered with a custom whiskey pearl paint scheme with a one of a kind oak wood ceramic engine finish. They also introduced Pathfinder Adaptive LED Headlights with the Pathfinder S LED Driving Lights last year, a feature you will also find on the Challenger again this year. This motorcycle also included a Climate Command Rogue heated and cooled seat as well. The owner's gift was a one-of-a-kind Montana Silversmith belt buckle with the owner's name and bike's individual number on the front and the bike's VIN on the back. This year, the 2022 Jack Daniels collaboration resulted in a limited edition Indian Challenger Dark Horse inspired by Jack Daniels Tennessee Rye Whiskey. Along with its custom paint, the motorcycle features a numbered Jack Daniels Montana Silversmith badge, custom engraved rider and passenger floorboards, and a genuine leather Jack Daniels custom stitch seat. Before I get into the features, including the one I'm truly excited about, Drop a comment below and let me know which of these six bikes appeals to you personally the most. Hang around till the end and I'll tell you which one I fancy the most 
and what bike I think they will use next year as a Jack Daniels limited edition motorcycle. This limited edition Challenger Dark Horse includes the Pathfinder Adaptive LED headlight and the Pathfinder S LED driving lights, electronically adjustable rear suspension preload, power band audio, a stylish flared windscreen, low rise handlebar, and more. Now, don't get me wrong, I think the Pathfinder adaptive lighting is great. I'm all for being able to see better when riding a motorcycle at night, but that's not what I'm excited about. And I love a good sound system. I upgraded the one of my Street Glide to a system from Sinister Sound, and I'm pretty damn happy with it for a two speaker system. Now, Indian claims the power band audio is up to 50% louder than stock due to the upgraded fairing speakers and added saddlebag speakers. But that's not anything new or earth shaking either, is it? The Power Plus liquid cooled V twin with 108 cubic inches in this motorcycle, while impressive enough with 122 horsepower and 120 foot pounds of torque before going to stage one or stage two, is still not really new news either. So let's talk about what has got me so excited finally. Here, let me read it to you from the press release because that's really all we know about this feature so far. And then we'll talk about why I am so excited about it. Fox Electronically Adjustable Rear Suspension Preload The Jack Daniels Limited Edition Indian Challenger Dark Horse has Fox Electronically Adjustable Rear Suspension Preload, which allows riders to adjust their rear suspension preload from the convenience of their infotainment center. To do this, riders will select if there's a passenger or simply enter the approximate weight of what is being carried on the motorcycle. The electronic adjustable rear suspension preload handles the rest and sets the preload for optimal riding and handling. Yeah, that's what I'm excited about. Rear suspension is so important to making sure your ride handles well, and many people who ride touring bikes are consistently changing and going from two up to one up and back to two up. Let's be honest, how many of us readjust our suspension manually every time our load changes? I'll admit it, I don't. We ride two up a lot on the weekends. But during the week, when I ride the bike to work solo, I don't pull the saddlebags off and crank the adjustment back down. I just ride with it being a little firmer. Why? Well, maybe because I'm lazy. But to be honest, the more you have to take the saddlebag off and adjust the suspension, the more you run the risk of something not getting latched securely and having to worry about a bag coming loose when you're going down the highway. Not to mention, it can be a small pain in the ass if your bags are loaded most of the time anyway. Grand, if I was going to go on a long, all-day ride, one up, then I would probably change it. But if I can just punch it in the screen before taking off, I definitely think I would take the time and make the effort to do that much more frequently, resulting in a better riding motorcycle most of the time, rather than just part of the time. I really hope this level of controllable suspension makes it to all touring models in the next few years. And Fox, you definitely have gotten my attention. Now, I personally am not a fixed fairing kind of guy, but I have to admit, the Indian Challenger's looks have grown on me since I test rode one last year. This year's limited edition Jack Daniels Challenger Dark Horse is $37,000. And while that may not be priced too high for the features and the exclusivity of having one of only 107 bikes, the problem for me is I'm underwhelmed with the paint scheme this year. The black and the gold with the green accents just isn't my thing. I find the gold accents to be a little heavy as well for my taste. Now, if the limited edition Arctic Blast from Harley-Davidson had this kind of electronically controlled suspension integrated into the system, I would probably be at my shop trying to put all my takeoff parts back on the bike so that I could go trade it in for that Arctic Blast rather than sitting here recording a video. So if you haven't guessed yet, the new Challenger is not my favorite Jack Daniels Indian motorcycle. The 2016 Chief Vintage and Springfield were not either. The paint scheme on the 2020 Roadmaster was really not appealing to me at all. While I like all three bikes made from 2017 to 2019, I'd have to say the 2017 Chieftain is my favorite looking bike so far, but those all three are all definitely works of art in my opinion. Like I said before, make sure you let me know which one you like the best personally in the comments below. Now, I'm going to make a prediction that next year they will highlight a new Indian Chief as the Jack Daniels Limited Edition Motorcycle. As to the inspiration, well, if it was up to me, I would go with Tennessee Fire. 
I want to give a big shout out to all my members who help support the channel. If you'd like early access to videos like this one or other perks for just a few dollars a month, just click the join button down below to learn more. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you do that YouTube thing, check out the content on my channel. And if you dig it, don't forget to subscribe down below, ring that bell to be notified the next time I drop a new video. And as always, thank you for support. Stay safe and keep on riding.